Edis Landy Lada is moving up to 160. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Renee Box Young. It's such an honor to be able to have this platform and just to share, you know, the love of the sport of boxing, commentary, analysis, discuss, and simply talk about the sport of boxing. This is Renee Box Young. Welcome. Thank you so much, you know, for subscribing. Subscribers since day one, you know, recent subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Tuning into the comment, you know, uh, tuning into lives, uh, you know, commenting in the comment sections. Just showing your support and love. You know, it's our platform. You know what I mean? I don't really try to push the you know the narrative or whatever you want to call it right that it's my platform it's our platform we are one community definitely man and um you know i want to talk about some information i got recently about um you know edis landy lada you know he's planning according to what you know was reported and what i was told that he's planning to move up up to 160 uh you know i've said time and time again in this digital era by the time i post this video up you'll probably hear about it okay so I'm not the type of person to really do breaking stuff, you know what I'm saying, breaking news and things of that nature. Other people do amazing in that, other platforms do amazing and and you know in that respect, but I really want to talk about this because it's interesting, it's intriguing. Um I'm plan I'm planning on making a video um about Lada and what I think uh what's going on generally with certain fighters in this era. It has to be spoken up. It has to be talked about, man. I mean, but you know, getting back to what I was saying here, um, I mentioned that because, you know, Lada is one of those guys and um, he's a great fighter, though. You know, Lada, very skilled Cuban, uh, Cuban fighter, if I'm not mistaken, from that Cuban school, right? Um, really skilled technical fighter, fundamental, you know, uses his feet well, knows how to keep the distance. You know what I'm saying? When he fought, um, I made a mistake earlier in another video, but I wasn't, you know, um, I wasn't, I, I, I think I said, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember what I said, but how I said it, but. I mistook, um, you know, your Dennis Ugas fight in Vendetti in one of his recent fights. That was at his Landy Lada. Now, one of the reasons why, okay, one of the reasons why I made that mistake is because Ugas and, and Lada, and that's another video I got to push out, okay? That, that's another video, but just to, just to give you a little inside scoop on that video I want to push out, what I want to talk about. At his Landy Lada and, uh, you know, um, Ugas kind of remind me that they're kind of, you know, similar to a certain extent. They got something in common. And that's why I uh, thought that Ugas fought Vendetti and it was in re recent fights, but it was um, Abel Ramos, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. Ugas fought Abel Ramos and Lada recently fought, you know, some months ago, I don't remember, um, Vendetti. Okay. And, you know, that performance that, you know, Lada had, you know, gave against Vendetti, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't impress me. Okay. So he's planning on moving up to 160. Okay. Um, for the WBA, okay, the WBA vacant regular championship belt. You already know what I think about belts and sanctioned bodies, okay? But, you know, it is what it is. We've got to recognize it to a certain extent as far as the positionings and belts. In the WBA ranking, okay, um, Chris Eubank Jr. is ranked number one. So that's interesting stuff. Uh, contender, whatever you want to call him, okay? Um, so he's number one in that on that ranking, okay? Right below the WBA vacant belt. Unfortunately, man... I thought, you know, and, it, and there was a source that came out, you know, um, ESPN Knockout, if I'm mistaken. I made a video about it, and I referenced that, okay? Um, everything I say is, is is referenced, okay, when it comes to these things. Um, ESPN Knockout, I made a video about it and referenced the source. Um, posted on Twitter that it, it, it was rumored, quote-unquote, and it was in Spanish, you know, that news source, that information or whatever. It was um, that there were talks of Chris Hunbeck Jr. versus Jamal Charlo. Yeah, Jamal Charlo um, to fight and looks like it's not happening. Okay, so that's sad. That's sad, man. But if Eddie's Landa, if, if Lada moves up to 160, that's perfect for Chris Eubank Jr. Perfect matchup. I, I personally think it is. Now, one thing we got to mention here, I got to mention is that Lada is 37 years old, man. I don't know how much longer this guy's going to fight. You know, um, when he fought Hurd, which was a while ago, um, I kind of saw him not the same anymore. I, I don't see a lot of the same anymore. Chris Eubank Jr. hasn't fought in such a long time. I mean, I don't remember how long it was, but, you know, he fought. I think his last fight was with, with Korobov. I like Chris Eubank Jr. I've said it time and time again, but what I don't like is his inactivity. And that's something I want to point out on the video I want to push uh, soon. I think, it also, I'll, I think I'll push it later. But 
you know, Chris Eubank Jr. got to pick it up, man. He has to pick it up. Father Time is ticking on these guys. In the sport of boxing, you got to be active. And this would be perfect for Chris Eubank Jr. to, to fight, you know, to fight Lada, if that's the case. They can both fight for that belt, for that vacant uh, WBA uh, uh, regular championship belt at 160. That would be perfect. You got prominent names at 160. I just posted a video, you know, and all you got, a lot of people know, you know what I'm saying? But if you don't, check it out concerning Demetrius Andre. You know, just recent video I just pushed out about him um, that, you know, waste talent, man. Demetrius Andrade, uh, talent wasted. It's called, the video is called that. And uh, it's sad, but it's true. The reason why I say this is because I showed the rankings there at 160. You got prominent names there. You know, you got um, you got this guy, Mungia. You know, I'm not saying he's the best of skills, but, you know, he's up there. It would be a war. It would be, you know, he's, he's, he's a game fighter. You know, game game competitor, you know, champion, whatever you want to call him. Um, you know, Triple G's there, which, you know, my stance on that. But, I mean, against a lot of, that would be interesting. That would be interesting, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you got, obviously, Charlo. You got Andre. You got, um, you got, you got several prominent fighters there, you know, at, at 160. And for a lot of to move up to 160, if he moves up to 160. I always say if because it's hard to tell the future, you know what I'm saying? Uh, according to what was told, so told me and uh, get sent to me. Shouts out, fam. Um, you know, L Dub, man. Y'all, y'all go, go subscribe to L Dub, man. I mean, you know, he constantly said he's underrated in these boxing streets, and I think he is. You know, go subscribe to him, man. He shoots me info constantly, man. And I don't have, I don't even have time to to to, to push the the videos on the info he sends me, man. I mean, bro, I, I really shout you out, man. All love to you, L Dub. That's what I love about the boxing community. You see what I'm saying? We all reach out to each other. You know, it's not just about one person. It's about all of us. You know, I, that's just awesome. Man, thank you so much, l -Dub. Keep pushing that info. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it's hard to, you know, that's why I say if. If he moves up to 160. And if I'm not mistaken, there have been talks of him moving up to 160 since a while ago. Back in 2017 or something like that. Um, You got to make his moves, man. A lot of got to do something. He's 37. He's 37. If you're gonna move up to 160, just do it now and get get start fighting. You know what I mean, Lada. You know, and uh, great fighter, man. But I, it would be perfect to see Chris Eubank Jr. versus Lada. And like I said, I repeat, you got prominent names there, and um, it, it it would be great for for Lada. You know, I wasn't impressed at all. I'm sorry, man. Call me picky, call me whatever, but you know, I want fighters to go up. You know, show up and show out. You know what I'm saying? If you got the skills. Put your skills, you know what I'm saying, show them, sh make them, make them shine, make them shine. You don't have to, you know, and that's just another video I'm going to make. You know, I don't want to go on a rant right now, but, um, you know, I try not to do that. I don't think I, I'm considered a person who goes on rants, but if I do go on rants, they're justifiable, you know, so interesting news, man. Hopefully this happens because a lot I got to do something. He, you know, I'm tired of these fighters being in, you know, Chris, U Chris Eubank Jr. I just mentioned him. He's been inactive for a while and, um. That, that's a perfect matchup, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, Chris Eubank Jr. is ranked number one in WBA ranking, okay? Um, and he's, you know, training under Roy Jr.'s for some time now. And um, it's time that Chris, Eubank, that Chris Eubank Jr. steps up to the plate, man. Chris Eubank Jr. has to step up to the plate. So, you know, this would be perfect, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to see this. We'll see, though. It's yet to be announced, you know, um, if Chris Lauder, uh, you know, really does make the move. And um, officially, at, at least and who he's gonna fight so there are other names out there but we're talking about the wba rankings so so you know i wish the best for edis landy lada man good stuff show up and show out with the skills that he has you know what i'm saying and um i'm gonna push another video talking about uh just delving into exhaustively what i was saying a moment ago what i referenced to when it comes to ugas and lada and several other fighters okay so thanks so much man renee box young what do you guys think about this information do you think it's a good move for edis landy lada okay to move up to 160 i think it's, it's nice it's interesting you know what I'm saying? So uh, go ahead and comment, you know, comment in the comment section. What do you think about it? I really want to hear from you. And I really like, you know, uh, chatting it away with you guys in the comment section too. you know, my videos. So and obviously in the lives and everything in the live chats. But um, yeah, thank you so much for, uh, you know, tuning in and, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe. If there are any new listeners, I reiterate one more time. This is a platform, you know, where we simply discuss, you know, analyze, critique and just talk about the sport of boxing, you know, in, in a mature fashion. You know what I'm saying? And um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. We are one community. Thanks so much, Renee Boxing. Peace out. Stay safe.